Hello everyone. Uh, so today this is module number seven, which is uh, about monitoring actually, which is also very important here. So on the CloudWatch, you can um, this the service name CloudWatch is well famous and Cloud Trail as well. So well in CloudWatch, you can see a lot of log of almost every service. So you can see logs of them. And secondly, uh, you can also configure stuff uh, in CrowdTrail to see that uh, who create like activity or the history of this stuff has been done on the account. <coughs> you can also see that who created which credential, who cre given what usage and something like that. Then you can also see that your how much your lambda has been used with the cloud matrix, how much calls has been made, for example. So it is very handy graphically and uh, otherwise to see that uh, what is what. So yeah, so mostly uh, we're gonna um, say this, uh, see this, and then um, uh, yeah, some other uh, handy tool to check out um, the, the 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 overall you know <coughs> health or performance of the system or the monitoring system, right? So this is that. So well, um, so definitely um, you can sometime from the matrix aggregate there is log and from the log you can uh, create a lot of analytics out of it. You can see that uh, what come into the queue in which time and what get out um, from the queue in that what time. For example, Amazon SQS is the service which uh, triggers some job to the queues and any of the Amazon service could pick those jobs actually to perform the task. So in the AWS, uh, you know, uh, metrics, you can also see the timestamps for every single step. So yeah, uh, that's uh, very handy. So you can also configure alerts on the CloudWatch, for example, for the budget, so let's say like that, you can go and you can say, well, uh, I want to configure the budget. If uh, EC2 instance run for more than 30 days, then please uh, send me a law and it's uh, going to send you a law. So that's very handy to if you do it, if you don't for forget to terminate any instance you have created for, for the free tier or the uh, something you have done for practice, but later on it's running. Mm -hmm. It could incur your cost. So um, yeah, uh, that's how actually the, the dashboard look like very similar for every other sources that you see um, relevant uh, metrics uh, in the thing. For example, if it would be a lambda, then it uh, should uh, tell you that how much uh, GB runtime, uh, GB per second you have consumed, how much number of call, how much external internal, so a lot of other stuff. So yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, for example, account trail is again kind of hashing or kind of um, history of the activity throughout the environment that uh, it's also kind of monitoring as well as control and as well as um, similar to git blame that um, it, everybody should know that who performed what so that uh, everyone should be, you know, held responsible for his or her task. So, yeah. So there are also, there are also other kind of, you know, handy tools that you can also configure some third party services or even you can also configure within the AWS log uh, um, any unusual activity, for example, you see that if something appear uh, other than, you know, um, yeah, for example, mm, you know, any suspicious stuff happened, you, know, you can also track this. And uh, you can see that who create what. So yeah, which task can be performed by using AWS Cloud Trail. So it is also monitoring you know, track user activity and API request throughout the AWS infrastructure. So which service communicate to what, in which timestamp, you can get the trail of that. 
and um, you can also use it for troubleshooting. Yeah. So then comes uh, Trust Advisor. So Trust Advisor is something very important. For example, this is Amazon services, which is not uh, completely free for the standard development or for standard developer. <coughs> you need to pay some cost for enterprise level you pay a lot of cost but the thing is that you can receive real-time guidance you can receive the real-time assistance from amazon representative and for the enterprise level even you can guide that according to your use case this is my use case and somebody is sitting on the other end in the aws who is very expert in the architecture and overall Structuring the application could assist you that uh, well, this is a good move or not. And uh, Trust Advisor, on the other hand, uh, could it automatically detect any optimization, security, fault tolerance, and service level issues. So, with the real time support, is the only one part where you can connect to the um, you know AWS support. Other than that, you can run this tool to check that if everything is uh, in standard and normal ranges or anything you know any problem occurred that runs automatically right but uh, you can also you know go beyond that and get the live support as well we'll discuss that live support uh, three levels in the next module uh, when we'll discuss the pricing and support but yeah, the AWS uh, Advisor Health, uh, the AWS Trust Advisor is uh, something that um, built by Amazon to run a similar to Scan Disk, which uh, run a predefined task on your account and uh, guide you well security wise. These are the problems you need to take care of. For example, you have given. Um, uh, you have allowed HTTP requests uh, from uh, inbound and outbound, for example, in your security groups, and then it would tell you that it is too lenient. Uh, might be you should think about stricting this, something like that. Uh, other than so, have you have seen all the uh, categories? Cost optimization is self-explanatory. That it tell you that okay, if you instead of using this um, uh, S3 class, a standard class might be you should thinking about uh, intelligent tiering. Performance means that uh, in your architecture, if you are uh, deploying the uh, three or four different EC2 instance, uh, less than that without load balancing might be you uh, have some issues. Security wise, as I discussed that inbound outbound rule and traffic wise, Fault tolerance means that uh, how is how it's likely that uh, your system is uh, crashed, or do you have um, enable in your S3 bucket the availability zone is, is equal to three? If it is equal to three, then definitely if something happened to any one uh, S3 bucket, then uh, your data is still safe. And uh, similarly, uh, service limits. So what limits in place in what? Mm -hmm. For example, that's a very extreme case. For example, your Lambda has uh, or something has uh, our API request call is uh, 1 million requests per day. And it should tell you that might be uh, based on your traffic. This limit is not enough and something like that, right? So let us now go to the um, console and see how this stuff in real time look like. Okay, for example, you can come here, you can say CloudWatch and CloudWatch actually you can come here, right? So the thing is that here you can create alarm. So I'm going to give you an example that you can create the alarm based on the matrix. If this matrix happen, this log is happen, do this. There's endless uh, possibility for the alarm which means that you can create any kind of alarm. You come here, you create alarm. For example, you have run the EC2 instance and you set the matrix here. And you see if the CPU usage of that, um, CPU usage for this EC2 instance has increased by 80%, then please notify. So yeah, that's all. 
mostly uh, alarm should work, right? And uh, you can, in fact, uh, also create the alarm on the, on the billing as well. So there are a lot of possibility if the, your bill or budget of something, you can terminate the services with it as well. So you can mm, do endless uh, possibilities. In the log section, so in the log section, you have log groups. Right, um, I don't have any log groups. But uh, when you have sources, like for example, Lambda or something else, your log should here be appearing here. And even mm, you can create your custom log group and while running your sources, uh, it asks you that which log group you want to maintain your log. And you can also mention this ID here. And all those uh, your, your logs which you're generating should appear here. Right, and then uh, if uh, you see here this is metrics and uh, usage based metrics and stuff like that. So no data is right now, but um, great. So um, yeah, so when you run some stuff, then your um, alarm should be here. That was that. What was else in this thing? Uh, I guess cloud. Okay, if I come here, so cloud trail, yeah. I come in the trail here. So what you can do, do with the cloud trail here? So with cloud trail, either you can create your custom account trail here. And you'd say that, uh, please, uh, this is um, monitor uh, my S3 bucket. And, uh, well, here actually you can, um, you know, uh, configure this, you can add your S3 bucket and stuff like that, right? So it's uh, simply doing this stuff for you. So then uh, which event data you wanted, you can create uh, event data, right? You can say that uh, what is the retention period and all those configuration and stuff like that. And uh, in S3, you can go and you can uh, create a uh, link this, uh, this event with S3. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so when you do that, it's automatically stored uh, and uses and stuff automatically with the zero account. So this is one possibility which people can do. Great. And so uh, there is some other stuff as well. Uh, these things are a little bit advanced, but if I go to the event history, this, uh, you know, here you have the complete history of each and everything, whatever has happened with this account. All right, you can download this history and um, into the JSON as well, you know. Console, even console logins are uh, showing here that uh, what happened with console logger from where. And uh, I have uh, created trail, I have created pocket some days ago, and it's just uh, showing me that uh, what I have done here console login, I have created one row here. So, you know, it's a very beautiful thing, in fact, uh, when you see this stuff, and it's great uh, to check uh, who does what, which account, which name. So, for example, right now you would see all the root user. But if I wouldn't be a root user, then it's a story should be different. Uh, so yeah, any trail I have created should appear here, so I can customize it. Um, great. You can attach this to Lambda to any service. You know, you name it, and you create this trail, and you attach this trail to the services. It's a little bit advanced, not for a practitioner, but just to get a feel. It's associate level stuff uh, on the console, but yeah. Uh, that's our stuff.
Uh, then, yeah, thank you very much for watching. So then um, we'll come to the pricing shortly. Thanks. Bye.